This Singaporean woman has just left her teaching job in order to be a content creator on OnlyFans, but let's talk about why the internet is discussing this. I used to care about lesson plan, but now I only care about the pictures I post on OnlyFans. Uh, let's run the clip. Chanel used to be a teacher, a yeah. secondary school teacher, <laughs> and then now she is a content creator, yes. uh, and she does OnlyFans as well. And uh, I quit quite recently actually because uh, yeah, just very recently. Yeah. yeah, so all along I've already been like kind of dipping my toes into each of these platforms. So I think it was quite natural to kind of like follow what my friends are already uh, successful in. Then you know you have a sensei in that area yeah, right? and yeah. they tell you what um, what are, what are the steps, how to set up, how to get started. And then naturally you, you just, mm. you know, went with the flow and... Yeah, just, just to try. Andrew, explain what's going on because not everybody can understand a thick Singlish accent, right? Right. Uh, basically, she's explaining why she has left teaching. And in short, to summarize her points from what I could gather, uh, teaching was her childhood dream, but it did become very suffocating of an environment. So I'm not sure how the school system is in Singapore. Maybe it is suff uh, suffocating. But anyways, for financial reasons, now, although OF is not necessarily a more stable career than teaching, uh, it does have a higher ceiling uh, for financial gains. Uh, her mother did pass away and that did make her feel like she, she got a big responsibility lifted off her shoulders so she did feel a little bit more liberated and free to do what she wanted with her life i mean i would say this is pretty common amongst westernized second generation yeah. kids let's be honest right i mean obviously singapore is in asia but it's very westernized and increasingly so yeah. i mean confucian filial piety no longer on her shoulders yeah and uh I would say the biggest reason why is probably because she had a really good friend. Her best friend was a creator on OnlyFans, kind of got her started into it. She was helping her friend film. Then she got ideas. She wanted to join in on it, and now she's in it. So basically, we're going to discuss. Guys, first of all, teachers having OnlyFans and even leaving teaching or getting fired for it is not new. It has happened in America several times. Um, but we're going to talk about why it's going viral. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Yeah, I think the biggest thing though, as noticed, Andrew, in America is a lot of women get fired for having a OnlyFans and then the administration finding out. Whereas for her, she was like, no, 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 of course I was going to quit first before I decided to do it. Still Asian. Right, right. right. So. And I, I think it's... Uh, this happening in Singapore is a little bit more surprising just because Singapore is, uh, it's not like a, it's not like people in Singapore don't do this type of thing, but I guess it's just not as common to hear this. Right. It's not like it's in Asia where it probably would actually be like incredibly frowned upon. Like, you know what right. I mean? Singapore is more of the westernized Chinese country. Yeah, I mean, America is, is more of an open sexual culture. So <clears throat> I think it's really interesting how America is dealing with like kind of the only fans, uh, sexual content creators, right. to sex worker, which are and, different. And a lot of people are quitting it. civil service right now in America too. I think it's a national, like global trend, Andrew. A lot of people don't want to be police officers. <gasps> a lot of people are leaving the military after one term, you know, versus like what, staying to, in to, it. You mean to do only fans or just in general? To do only fans, but do anything, to be honest. <laughs> like even go in a gray market enterprise, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Anyway, I mean, long story short, Andrew, let's just get into our thoughts before we get into the comments. I think this is very 2023, right? Mm. And, you could argue that OnlyFans is amazing because it does put the control back in the women's hands in the what? sense of like they're doing something risque, but they get to be their own gatekeeper versus like enter this industry full of dudes who's going to maybe make them do stuff they don't want to do. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely if that's the other option. I mean, I think also uh, a lot of people are talking about like, hey, like, can you really knock a woman for wanting to make extra side money if this is her side gig? And right. is this an appropriate side gig? And should you get fired from your professional regular job if your job finds out you have an OnlyFans page? Right, I mean, in America right now, you do get fired if you have a... It only fans page and it's found out. Right. Um, of course, everybody's like, well, is America really free if you can't do this and you can't do that? But other people are like, uh -huh. duh, of course you shouldn't be able to do that. I would just say this. Long story short right now, Andrew, the sugar babyism, the sugar boyism at 2023 got to be at peak levels. Yes. Because obviously, whether you're, and I'm not blaming anybody for doing anything that they want to get what they want out of life. If you're a girl going on three $200 omakase dates a week, right, whether you like guys or not, or I even know a guy i know a tall korean guy in new york city andrew who is the sugar boy of a thai business lady who is like 60 years old 
in, I'm just saying he's dripped out in lambs in and YSL shirts. What's going on right now? Of course, back in the day, Andrew, it was almost like you had to be good looking enough to get into Playboy or get into Hustler magazine or maybe right. be, if you weren't as good looking, maybe you did phone sex operator mm -hmm. or you did whatever, you know, you enter the industry. Nowadays, it's way more like self-created, just like me and you, I guess, are self-created content creators, but that has a more uh, sexual influence on it, right? For sure, for sure. So, I mean, I guess it really comes down to if you think that more and more people going into a lane like this or creating content like this is ultimately bad long-term. For society. Yeah, obviously there's one side and, and, it and maybe it doesn't matter what you think either because at one point, you know, people just have freedom and they can do what they want if they can make money and they feel comfortable doing it and it's good for their life, then who is anybody to tell them? I mean, this is... This is the modern world. You right? embracing Sodom and Gomorrah in the name of capitalism? Is that what you're telling me? I'm just saying. Are you trying to be laissez faire? I'm just saying Singapore is a lot more of a conservative society. But obviously, obviously, a lot of guys on the internet are discussing this right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, I notice a lot of kids that are fun partying, good looking Gen Z kids, Andrew. They want the packed Google calendar full of elevated experiences. Those experiences cost money. So basically, to get the only plans, some of them are willing to do the OnlyFans. Yeah, but also, there is different content on OnlyFans. Not all content is the same. There's obviously extremely explicit stuff and less explicit material. But really, I mean, I guess, how is it that different than like a sexy TikToker that gets millions of views right. just dancing and or, then her her like boobs jiggling or something like or that? Or how is it saying? different than like, the FDNY, NYPD men of women posters they used to do for fundraising back in the day, right? Oh, remember because it used to be like you used to have to be the hottie, yeah, f with the fire well, you know, hey, sure. hey, you know, the uh, NYFD, uh, uh, you know, calendar's coming up. I've been kind of beefing up and cutting fat for it, you know, I'm trying to do uh, trying to do one of those photo shoots and uh, and then go to the the the, <laughs> the Let, party. Let's start with the comments from Singapore first. Someone said, Be true to yourself, whatever makes you happy. I hope this goes for you. And someone said, Wah steady, this is my fantasy. If I was her student, I will for sure sub to her. <laughs> um uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think this is the concern for people is that students find out and then view the teacher differently. Do you think, David? It's very hard for a student not to view their teacher differently once they've seen like lewd photos of them. Yeah, for sure. I think it's just way distracting and it's just like nobody's going to be able to focus. So, no, I do not agree with anybody who's like, what's wrong with it? Just let everybody do everything. No, there right. has to be but some standards, would, would compartmentalization you, of and, society. And you would say teachers should be held to the standard and be like, hey, if you want to be a teacher, great. Don't do this other stuff. But if you want to do this other stuff, you should quit teaching. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to say, guys. I'm sure everything, you can make good arguments on both sides. I mean, I know there was a lot of movies uh, probably in the 90s about people going to the strip club and finding that their teacher mm. was being a stripper and things like that. Somebody said, must be fun to be a good looking woman. Eh? You don't like your job. You jump to OF. Then you show some skin or explicit contents. Get money. Uh, so easy. Don't be mad when you're single 30 and your looks go away and then you don't have good life, okay? Just don't complain. How much do you think it is guys mad at women? Because guys cannot typically, unless they're like a 10 out of 10, uh, do this as easy as women can. Because let's be honest, statistically, most of the people on OnlyFans are women. Most of the guys paying are men. All right. I actually don't think guys are as jealous of women for making money from it. I think the sour, bitter guys out there who leave a lot of the comments, to be honest, view it as it makes that woman undateable and not wifey material, therefore throwing off the pool. Also, that it just makes it seem like another girl that would not date them. So if you're like an internet commenter, which I understand this perspective is that when you hear about a girl leaving a professional job to be an OnlyFans creator, and you're like, oh, when she had the professional job, she seemed like a girl I could date, I would want to date, and that would possibly more date me. But now that she's on OnlyFans, she seems like she's outside of my universe and would not want to date me as a regular guy anymore. Right, right. Um, this says, uh, must be a salary issue. Come on, teachers, they need more salary. Uh. Someone said, teacher to sex worker, quite a jump, huh? Can we blame it on economy or dilution of values? Money talks, huh? but Now, Now, just because she has an OnlyFans account, does that mean she's a sex worker? I mean, I think that term is very specific to Man. what that means. That's why I've, <clears throat> I'm selling sexual images versus selling sex is, is 
different guy right I mean, is it different, different if you're doing it with your monogamous partner that you're already in a pre-existing relationship with like we said guys the lines now is so crazy right somebody said in short it's just a well-paying controversial freelance job where you can swallow your shallow pride and make bank off perverts and other types of people um is that a, is that a very moderate way of explaining only fans or are, are are people being perverts for for falling into human nature? And where is the threshold of acceptable human yeah, nature? Yeah, and how much accountability should men have for buying into this, right? Yeah. Or is it saying, well, I'm just doing being a dude and you're feeding into my, you know, natural urges and I can't help it, so I got to spend my money and support this type of business. The truth is, a lot of guys do support that business. So yeah. I, I think there does... As much as there's a there's accountability on both sides. For sure, for sure. Let's get into the American comments. Somebody said the school system can't underpay staff and then get mad when they make more money through other jobs. It doesn't conflict with their professional life. Let them do it. Um, yeah, like we said, we already said this. Listen, guys, I mean, but everything impacts everything. It can't be like the kids showing OnlyFans photos of the teacher while the teacher's doing the lesson plan. How is that going to work? Yeah, that is kind of crazy. And, and maybe that's for a case for online teaching now you know i think online teaching might be a bigger and bigger thing too like high level online uh -huh. teaching too now that you know the technology's there somebody's like saying man i hate this lazy generation these kids got lazy naked parents online they're about to get ridiculed and bullied and everybody's just doing everything for money nowadays who wants a friend who knows the inside of what your mom's butt looks like huh <laughs> Someone said, what happened to respectable careers? Now you just dance for men online and make more money? We have no values anymore. And someone said, we know exactly where our values are as Americans or just as a world. They're in our, our values are in our wallets. Mm. Um, how much do you think this is, Andrew? Like I said, is it people just want only plans and they want material things and they want the, the, the live the life the way they want and they're just willing to go to like levels that are more acceptable in a new era that weren't acceptable in an old era? Yeah, I mean, uh, I do think, I feel like women do do it for the money, but also for the lifestyle. And that lifestyle seems to be more fun, maybe yeah. easier. And do you think it's true that dudes would totally do it if they could? Because a lot of guys probably do most of illegal things in the world. Yeah. You know, that are not related to this sector. No, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, I, yeah, possibly. No, for sure more guys would do it if they could make that much money and it was that easy. I do think they would. But also I feel like maybe the, uh, how society kind of makes it for women like to express themselves with sexual beauty more often than men. Right? There is that difference. I think that's a difference between men and women in society generally. But for sure, guys would do it more. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, Andrew, what is your final takeaways, man? Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it different in the East than in the West? Because in the West, this is sort of an issue, but it's not as shocking as it is in Singapore. This, uh, this is crazy. This is like the first of its kind now. Is it going to keep yeah. sparking a bunch of trends? You know, I personally don't think it's going to work to like shame women in this sense. And I think you just have to look at guys and hold yourself as a male accountable. It's like, Hey, do I, do I pay money for these things? Am I subscribing to these things? If I'm buying into the system, that's also on me too. Because if I don't buy in the system, there's no money in that economy. And that whole thing doesn't really work. Yeah. I think but men like, Sexual content and all this stuff. Like, I think like ultimately all. a lot of people are living like these digital lives, whether they make that their salary. Let's say I'm a guy, I'm in front of three screens all day trading God knows what, you know, this and that. Why am I not going to like live out, I guess, uh, other aspects like non-work aspects yeah. or non-money making aspects of my life online? Because everybody's sure. so digital centric. Yeah. Are we going to lose out on a lot of good teachers to this? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. Back in the day, I definitely had some teachers where had this lane been available to them, they were going for it. Oh, man. And also, I think there's another question of how long will this system exist for? Like, is this a temporary phase or is this like really where everything is going? You know, because like industries, they wax and they wane. Yeah. I guess the question is, do you think it should be regulated or is this just capitalism and you got to let it rock? <laughs> let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.